After Degrassi starts right now. Hey everyone, I'm Lauren. I think that Imogen should do a religious confession because that's what Becky would want. And Becky, yeah. would, Becky would completely forgive her because that's what God wants and then they could bond Lends over Adam. Soul. I agree, the and truth will set you free. Becky sets her sights on Degrassi TV, but Imogen blows her off. All right, he stole a kiss from Miles in Perry, and now I think he's trying to steal his heart. Oh yes, it's Tristan himself, Lyle Latall. Now I put something out there. Listen to this. I think everyone sit Miles, down for listen, this. Just listen. I think Miles is bisexual. This is what I predict. Tristan and him are totally gonna hook up. They already kissed. But I want to know what Zoe herself, Anna Goya, thinks about that. And she's here live after the break. She doesn't even look that bad. Plus, she's no. a senior. She's older. Yes. She's professional. She's on the, you know, the student council. Mm -hmm. She's a writer. She, she wants it to be taken seriously, so she's covering up the clean. She looked appropriate for school. Unfortunately, Maya's a little too naive, I think, going in for that, like yeah. trying to make a truce. Like, yeah. Zoe is a backstabber. Yeah. So being that you're obviously a sweet angel compared to Zoe, who do you draw inspiration from to get into this bitchy character? Okay, so hardcore Degrassi fans all here and at home, you've seen this chick, Lenore, on the Degrassi webisode, but you know who hasn't seen Lenore? Claire. Uh, should she be worried Ooh, based what? on this? All right, welcome back. We're having a ball. And I need to confess something to you right now, everybody, all my friends watching. I have a new crush at Degrassi. No, it is not you, Adamo. You're no longer at Degrassi. You're on after Degrassi. Okay. <laughs> His name is Chewy, a.k.a. Winston Chu. And I heard some cheers he is for Winston cute. Chu. I mean, we saw him come into Degrassi, and he was a little timid, but like funny and sarcastic. But today, he was just shining like a star, the star he was born to be. He, <laughs> She's he, in love with him. He very well should be the host of Degrassi TV, even though he got the job for the wrong reasons. He has all the makings of a perfect, hilarious, well-spoken, opinionated TV host. Look at her go.